Okay, October 11, 2022. We got the Seattle Manners at Houston Astros, and the Astros are huge favorites. And the game is going to be starting at 2.37 local time. And so, like, what I see here is, okay, so we have the first house that has Capricorn in it, ruled by Saturn. The seventh house has Cancer in it, ruled by the Moon. And then we have, so the the seventh house is the away, so is the fourth house right here. This is the away team as well. And it's got Taurus in it, ruled by Venus. And so on the top, we have the MC, and that's got Scorpio in it, ruled by Mars. So for the favorite, we have Saturn, and we have Mars. And for the dog, we have, we, should, we would have the moon, but we're not going to use it because it shows the course of events. And then, so for the dog, when we have Venus to use, we could use the dispositor of the moon, but it's also Venus as well. So it doesn't make any difference. And then, so like what I noticed right away here is that, um, okay, so Saturn right off the bat is opposing the point of fortune and that favors the dog. And Right. See, it says 1841, and then this one says 1819, and you would think that like maybe that's past it, but it's actually applying because uh, the part of fortune applies to it uh, backwards, right? So it's 237, and then if I go to um, 238 here, it's at 1841 to 1835, so it actually got closer. So right at the start of the game, it's going to be a nice uh, aspect for the dog. And then what I really like here is that the moon is on the IC. And that's a really strong indication. So let me just go to the bottom here. So let's see. So the MC is 11, which would make uh, the, the IC 11 as well. And the moon is at 12. So it's just a little bit off. Um, but it's close enough. And then to even back that up, click the Antitia, we have the part of fortune right directly on the IC. Right, so that's three major things for the Mariners. And then toward the end of the game, we got Venus, so it'll be uh, around 5.32. It might be like this maybe the seventh or eighth inning or something, but this is a strong aspect for um, the Mariners as well. This could even be a scoring play. So we'll watch that 5.32. That could be pretty strong. But it might be inhibited actually by this, which is, uh, I think I said that Mars is for the favorite. Yeah, Mars is for the favorite. So maybe nothing happens then, but it's still a strong aspect. So at the beginning game, that's at the game, that's all the, the stuff I like right here. Um, I did run them, like I did look at the numbers and I don't really want this channel to be about numbers. Um, but all the numbers, like if I was just doing straight up numbers, I would take the Astros. So if you have any numbers that you like for the Mariners, just share them with me. Because it's nice to have the numbers and the astrology working together. Um, so, and then another reason I like this is because if you, I'll go to my Discord here. So on September 10th, 2022, we had the same sort of thing here, right? The moon is right on the IC. So I've already seen this happen before. And this was for the Yankees. And on that day, the Yankees won 10-3, right? And it was an isolated game that day as well. So right, it's the same thing. Look, it's the same thing. And then to back it up, this is a really powerful thing too. This this orange uh, X, the Anticia of Part of Fortune, is right there too. So it's a double whammy. And then it's got the thing there. And, you know, it, with all the numbers that I'm seeing for for the Astros, I think are in favor for it. And... Um, like the community would think that that's bait. I would think that that was bait. Uh, so I really like the, the Mariners to win here tomorrow. And 
there are other games going on that day. Make the Phillies start here uh, at my time, 11.07, but uh, that'll be 12.107 their time. Um, and so as long as that, like the things that could like make it screw up astrology wise is that if this game, this Braves game is still on during the Astros game. That might do something, but I'm pretty sure the Mariners going to win. Like that's a pretty strong thing. It's an isolated game. Like the games are all staggered here, right? So I, I imagine that this game would be over. The Braves game would be over by that time this Astros game goes on. But yeah, so I'm going to pick the Mariners. And look, that minus 220, that's crazy. So hopefully it does uh, come through. Just, uh, uh, you know, be cautious. Take them on the run line. Maybe just wait and see and take them on run line. If they go way down, take them like plus three or something like that. But, you know, even if, if the Mariners score right out the gate, because sometimes this, this translates to a score like, this right here, it's not quite on it, and they're going to be up to bat first, right? So it, uh, the degree moves every four minutes, so the moon will move a degree in four minutes, and they'll be up to bat, right? They could, right when this hits on there perfectly, they could hit a they could hit a run in or at least get on base. So, like, what I like to do for here is I like to do, on bet 365, you can do most hits, or you can just do over in hits. But uh, they, they have a nice one for most hits. And so I would take uh, also most hits or a run for the Mariners here because they have all these strong things right off the hop. But then I would also expect the Mariners to win, especially with this one here, these doubles, the moon and that part of fortune. All right, let's see what happens. Hopefully it comes through. I want to keep a streak up on my channel.